Hey guys, what's up? This is Rai123 here today, and as I was working on my new game, um, I was I figured out maybe you guys want to see this thing that I did um, to make my game a little more aesthetic. So basically what it is is what happens when you click on a certain part, it gives you a GUI which pops up a passcodes thing. Um, so you can enter in a code and gain access. Um, so I'm just going to be showing you how to do the thing where it gives it to you, and then I'm going to show you how to make the um, GUI for it. Um, obviously, we won't be going step by step on how to set the keypad up, because that took forever. Um, it's not hard, it's just a lot of positioning and repositioning. So um, up here, I like to have like a prompt. Right here is where the numbers show up when you click on them and then there's a clear and an enter button and so yeah let's take a look at the scripts for these okay so um, what you're gonna wanna do in the first place before you set up the giver is set up the GUI which I have here you'll probably be setting it up in the starter GUI so that you can see it on screen but basically you're going to want to put all this stuff inside of a frame because which is the background because it just makes it easier to organize you're going to want a number value with your um, called code this will store what the people enter into the thing but the actual password you want it to be is stored in the OK button but anyways let's take a look at some of the simpler things first and I am going to put this into the starter GUI just so you can see what I'm talking about so that it's over here so the frame is the bl back black part in the background and then in each of the buttons we have this script um, it gets the code value and it gets the text box which is this gray part is the text box so basically what it does is every time you click the button it adds on to the text. This gets the current text and adds on to it so that way it looks more like a punch in number when you do it and it also adds it to the code and that's pretty much it. The sad thing is is the way I have it set up you have to change this for each script depending on what button you're pushing um, and just keep track of it and it shouldn't be too bad. The clear button is easy because it just sets them both to nothing. It's basically the same thing. You just put the two quotation marks. And then the last button is where the magic happens. OK. So in here you're going to want four variables. The code value, obviously. A pass variable for your password. This is where you're going to put what you want. This isn't the password for my game, just so you know, I changed it for this video. Um, then you get the player and you get the question box, which is this box. That's just so you can say you the password you entered was incorrect. Um, so basically, um, when you click the OK button, this print stuff which is for debugging you don't need that if the code value is equal to the password then it will move the player to where I want them and then it will remove the GUI if they get it wrong it will say the code is incorrect wait two seconds and then remove the GUI so that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys thanks for watching please be sure to rate comment and subscribe and I'll see you later